Beyond the door lay a vast hall, and in the far wall there were a number of doors. Not approaching any of them, Gilligan spoke instead from the very center of the hall. It's me, Gilligan. Are you there, Egbert? Kyoki? Samal? Sheen? Twin? After a short pause, her replies came from the various doors. You bet. Yes. I'm here, all right. Sure. It was by no means certain that the order in which they replied matched that in which they'd been called. Each voice sounded as if it came from all of the doors, while conversely each had a mysterious ring to it that made the listener wonder if they'd heard it correctly. Particularly strange was the last of their replies. It was unmistakably the snarl of a beast. A terrible situation has developed. A little lady came to an antique shop that's under my purview, and she had a certain bead doodad that she wished to have appraised. The item in question was absolutely unbelievable. Why, even the antique dealer himself didn't know what he was really dealing with. But he's quite a bookworm. As luck would have it, he'd looked through some incredibly old documents that helped him out. There was only a single line about it in there, and this is what it said. (sighs) Gilligan told them what it was. No one spoke behind the closed doors, but the shockwave certainly echoed back. Now, this doesn't mean anything to you, but it'll prove useful to me. More than you could ever imagine. Sure enough. That'd suit your tastes to a tea. But do me a favor and make sure I never have to see that look on your face again. It makes my stomach turn. So, what are you suggesting we do? The little lady came by the bead in the village of Florence. And you are going to go up there and find me a new bead. Because some dirty thief stole the other bead from me. At the moment, I've sent someone to catch him as quickly as possible. But to be perfectly frank, I have my doubts about whether they'll get it back. 